This is Ray's Magnetic Solenoid Effect, Part 1. It will be part of a series. I'm going to demonstrate what principle this is based on. I would uh, definitely try to make one of these setups. It's a razor blade north facing out and on the back side south facing out. This allows you to adjust the magnets up and down also, but the, uh, the blade itself uh, does play an important part in the function of it. Uh, in between a north and a south is a neutral zone, and this more or less brings a neutral zone down here, and it, uh, it uh, parts that uh, more easier when it fires. Okay, we have a north-facing magnet here, and we have this one is north facing also and we'll come into it and you'll see it fire and that's similar to what this is doing this magnet would be that magnet this is the firing magnet this is the one that's on the little generator and as it comes through it does not pull back it does slightly if you measure it, but uh, for all purposes, it's a pretty clean firing and continues on a good gate. Now, if I go too close, the reverse happens. It pushes away, and on this side, it pulls in. If you come back up, it pulls in and pushes. Here, it pushes, coming in, and pulls back. I call this first level, second level magnetics, and I've explained that on other videos also. Okay, The power supply, I set it at 1 volt. Interestingly, the uh, LEDs, they fire around 2 volts. So, we have a system here. I'm, I'm thinking the firing effect is uh, over unity. I don't know about the whole thing system as a whole if you'd measure everything is or not but the firing here is definitely over unity you're getting two volts this is one and a half volts i set that with a little battery one and a half volts so when it fires it's going up in there so uh, must be at least two because that's firing then on the swing back it's pulled back uh pretty good good also uh this magnet has a south facing out so that means the other side the north is actually making contact with the uh, tubing the metal tubing so this is actually north this is south facing out but the metal tubing is north and that helps it reset so i like that feature there it's pretty neat so anyhow uh if we look at the uh, measurements again here to see if the input is less than the output uh, we have one volt and this is your amperage and it's 0.01 and it goes back and forth but uh okay we're going to take the magnet away from it so now we have it going back and forth between 0.01 and 0 0.00 amps so that's uh part of the motor the setup if you have a more efficient motor it would work better if you have a less efficient motor then it wouldn't work as well so what I'm driving at is how much power really does it take to fire the LED, which is 2 volts. So I'm saying a good estimate would be half of just the motor running. So half of the amperage of what the motor is running is uh, about 0.05. So that's what uh, the motor's running at. So if we engage it, uh, let's just say uh, 0.01. So it's, uh, it's using the difference between 0.01 and 0.005. And uh, so that's actually the power that's firing enough from that small firing or uh, total to enough to drive this two volts so that's why i'm saying it's like 
we put a penny's worth of energy into it and we're getting maybe uh, five a nickel out. So that's what I call over unity. You get more change out than you're putting in. So as a system as a whole, I have not measured it, don't know how. But uh, if you're looking at the firing part of it, which is uh, pretty obvious here that you don't put much uh, energy into moving this over and it fires. So that firing, all of a sudden, that's enough to uh, drive your LED at 2 volts. Not sure about the current. I don't have that uh, ability to do that with my uh, system. So just going with the voltage, we have 1 volt and we're at least, if you're taking the whole cycle in and out, then uh, we're going, that's one and a half, down here is another one and a half, that's three, and another uh, one or so up there. So we're having uh, maybe four volts if you take the whole cycle together, and we're only driving it with one volt. So I think that's the odd thing about it. And so this is going to be a series of uh, solenoid effects. This is what's taking place here. Uh, we're, we're having a solenoid effect coming over. And what's uh, the problem has been, if you watch the videos of uh, old V-gates, uh, people trying to do things with uh, drums, with uh, magnets, they have this effect going on. Otherwise, it wouldn't be turning or moving. But the problem is, they either have you know, a resistance that stops the system, or it's, it passes through and then it pulls back and stops the system. But uh, the, I encourage you to make this little setup. This is a pretty neat little thing. It's a kind of an over-unity uh, device it's itself. Uh, if it were not over-unity, I would bring it in and it's pushing and I'd have to push in or it'd be pulling back and I'd have to be pulling out. So the gain would be nothing. But if you see in the second level magnetics, uh, it, it pulls in by itself. It fires and then it does not pull back. So that gives me an idea that this, this little firing there is uh, magnetically uh, OU. So anyhow, I'll be uh, doing more videos. I don't know how fast, but uh, this is a nice little setup, and uh, we'll be getting into better setups as we go. But uh, this is one I encourage you. It's, it's real simple. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.